All right, boys, we are back, and it's time for round two of our year five playoff run. We got by the first round with the Washington Capitals fairly quickly. In fact, we swept them four games. Two of those games did go to overtime. It could have gone the other way uh, very easily, but you know what? Steven Stamco stepped up with 12 points. That's right, 12 points in four games. So finally, it's about time that Steven Stamco starts to step up big for us in the playoffs here. So we got the New York Rangers in round two. Uh, I can't remember if we faced these guys yet in this uh, GM mode. So many playoffs now. Um, but you know what? They should have a good team here. So let's just show, let's go check them out. I wonder if they still have uh, King Henrik in the net. Well, we're five years in. He may be like uh, late 30s now. Should be interesting. All right, so hang on. Uh, New York Rangers. All right, here we go. The first line, Haglin, 81. Uh, he'll probably get uh, a lot better in the new roster update after the playoffs. He's only 81, five years in. Uh, Richards, 89, and Callahan, 84. Uh, that's not a bad first line, I guess. Remember, it's the individual stats now, not the overall, but I still have to say our first line is a lot better just because Dustin Brown, Lofthouse, and Steven Stamkos, I mean, they're all amazing players right now. Lofthouse's overall is kind of stunted, but we know his individual stats are great. So the first line has definitely got to go to us. I like Callahan, a nice grinder there, but still, uh, first line's definitely got to go to us. Second line, Mishinter, Stepan, and Gabrick, uh, it's a pretty deadly second line. Gabrick, 92. Uh, Stepan is now an 88, so he's kind of the same as Richards. Uh, Mishinter, all right, again, we can't really tell his uh, individual stats. Uh, but Gabrick is a great second line and probably one of the best second liners in the game. He's still 92 overall. So that second line is definitely good. Uh, we still have Big Joe and uh, Big Joe and Connolly. And who else do we have on the second line? It, was, uh, it wasn't Simmons. It was Granlund, right? Hang on, let me just actually check that. Might have been Simmons. Hang on a sec. Uh, no, it was Granlund and, oh yeah, Patrick Kane. How could I forget about that? Conley and Simmons are on the third line, right? So Patrick Kane and Gabrick are kind of the same, and then Joe Thornton's a bit better than Stepan. Maybe not. Uh, again, it's the overall numbers. Uh, where is it? New York Rangers. There you go. Um, third line, uh, Dubinsky, Kreider, and Foucault. I love Kreider. Dubinsky's a good third liner as well. Um, I'd say ours is better though. I mean, we have, again, we're the President's Trophy winning team. Every lineup for us is just stacked, especially the third line. Simmons, Shen, and uh, Connolly, basically. So yeah, that uh, that third line, we have them covered as well. And then the fourth line, Anisimov, Boyle. You know what, they and Zuccarello, they have a deep team. They, uh, they got two playmakers on the fourth line, a power forward. They definitely have a deep team here. So... They're not that bad, but still, we have them covered. We have every team covered here, offensively. Defensively, Girardi and Stahl, 88, 87. Delzato's an 87. McDonough's an 85. So they definitely have four great defenders. Ours are better, except for maybe Beaulieu, but he's a jacked-up offensive category. These guys are great two-way. Um, they have an offensive. They have a defensive. So, yeah, they have a good defensive core as well. Um, ours is better, but still, there's is, uh, something to look at there. And then the third line, Strawman and Sauer. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst either. So they're not a bad team. I'd say they are better than the Washington Capitals just because of their depth. Their young guys are actually NHL ready now. So, yeah, they, uh, they're a pretty good team. And then in the cage, Lundqvist, he's still a 92. So, yes, he's still a good player. All right, so they have us covered in goaltending. Bernie Mac is only a 90. So, again, we can beat these guys. We just need to score some goals. Um, and keep them from sco uh, scoring goals on us. But, yeah, we got these guys. All right, Steven Samkos, if he keeps up this three points every game, uh, ratio that he's at, yeah, we're going to win. So we swept the Washington Capitals. Let's just continue the streak here, boys. On home ice against the New York Rangers, round two. Come on, let's not even falter here. All right, let's get off to a series lead. Game one, first period. All right, all right, all right. Henrik, King Henrik may have a tough time scoring on King Henrik over uh, Neuvirth there in Washington. Second period, all right, we got one, Dustin Brown. So that first line is still really clicking for us, boys. That first line is really clicking. Lofthouse, Brown, and Stamkos, they're all getting points for us. Third period, come on, can we get one? We need one, no, 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 we need one. Come on, we need one. Do we need one? Do we even need one? Oh, empty netter for Lofthouse. Yeah, it's only an empty netter, but Bernie Mac, he starts off round two with a shutout. Way to go, Bernie Mac. Awesome, awesome. So we didn't even need, uh, need Lofthouse's empty netter. And it was another first uh, first line goal for us. So I wonder if Stamkos had any points that game. Maybe uh, maybe an assist here, maybe an assist there. Who knows? It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. We won. Oh, yeah, you got one. Yeah, you have one assist. Very nice. All right. Game two at home. Let's just keep this going, boys. 
Let's keep this going. Come on. We're the President's Trophy winning team. We're trying to defend that Stanley Cup. You guys are great. You know you're great. We have weapons on every line, offensively and defensively. And look at that. Trent Lofthouse. I didn't even start the simulation yet. He gets the second goal of the series. First period. And we get another one, Dustin Brown. So that first line is really clicking for us. Lofthouse, Brown, and Stamkos. Way to go, boys. Second period. There you go. We got another two. They got one, but we got two. Chris Kelly, fourth liner. It actually was a shorthanded goal. And Lofthouse gets another one. Lofthouse, man, this guy. Remember last year he had the game winner to win the Stanley Cup? This is his first full stint in the playoffs because we brought him in, I don't know, in the second or third round last year. There's another one for Kelly. That fourth line is doing great for us. All right? So this is his first full playoff run. He's already answered the bell, man. This guy's doing great for us. Three goals now in the first two games. Way to go. And we win game two, 5-1. to one. Not even a... And they had we only had 22 shots on the net. They had 38. Dear God, good job, Bernie Mac. Quality of shots, I guess. Chris Kelly, two goals. Dustin Brown, remember he got injured last year. He's doing great. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Dear God, yeah, I was reading your comments. Injuries. My God. My God, I forgot about the injuries, boys. I'll do that right now. My goodness gracious, injuries on... Maybe that's the only reason I got by the Washington Capitals in the first two games against the Rangers. Oh, man, I forgot about it. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world because you think about it, the other teams, they had the same benefit, right? The other better teams in the NHL, they didn't have any of their players get injured. So it's it's not the end of the world, right? Injuries are back on now, boys. Now watch. Watch. I'll lose like Stamkos and Lofthouse in like the first period in game three here. Oh, my God. Good job uh, pointing that out for me. I was reading your comments. I just forgot about it again. My goodness. All right. Game three, first period. Come on, boys. Come on, I want a second sweep here. Uh, first period, all right, all right. Now we had the 12 shots, they only had four. It's still 0-0 zero, zero there. Second period, all right, we get one. They get one as well. Connolly got one, Machinter got one for them. All right, so we need someone to step up here. Our first line's been doing great. I need uh, Patrick Kane and Joe Thornton and uh, Grandlin to step it up here. Come on, boys. Third period, we need that second line. The first period, I mean, the first line's been doing great for us. We need the second line. There it is, Chris Kelly. Leave it up to the fourth liner to get a goal for us. Oh, Patrick Kane, there you go. He stepped up. The second line steps up. Oh, my goodness. I don't think Bernie Mac allowed... Oh, he allowed one. I might have jinxed him. He allowed one. Is this going to be a close game? Oh, the empty net. Chris Kelly! Chris Kelly! Did he get a hat trick? Did Chris Kelly get a hat trick? No, 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 no. Right, right, right. He only had two this game. Man, Chris Kelly's got four goals this series. Ha, ha, ha. I love my fourth line, man. My fourth line is absolutely outstanding. Look at this. Another two goals for Chris Kelly. Victor Hedman had three points. Bernie Mac did great. And Patrick Kane, I asked our second line to step up. And they did. They stepped up big for us. Way to go, boys. Way to go. So the brooms are out again. The broomsticks are out once again. Unbelievable. We're 7-0 and in the playoffs. Can we just out the New York Rangers now? Move on to the third round without even suffering a loss? I don't know. Come on, boys. You know you're a better team here. We know we're a better team up and down the roster. Let's just out these guys. First period of game four. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. All right. We had 19 shots on the net, though. Lundqvist, he's playing out. He's standing on his head for his team right now. Second period. There. Oh, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. 28 shots on net. Lundqvist, he's not folding. All right. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's get one for us here. Just We just need one. We just need one. Get off. Oh, come on. Ten minutes left. Are you kidding me? 0-0. Zero, zero. The Rangers are playing. Ah, oh, McDonough. Ryan McDonough. Is he going to give the Tampa Bay Lightning their first loss? Yes, he is. Oh, the New York Rangers, they get one back. They get one back. So the 16-0 run, boys, it's not going to happen. That's all right. That's all right. That's a, that's a lot to ask for to go 16-0 in the playoffs. That's all right. Now, freaking Henrik Lundqvist, man, he stood on his head. I guess that was the only way that they were going to get a win is if Henrik Lundqvist had a shutout. Oh, my God. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can't be too pissed off about that, all right? Here we go. Game five, back at home. Now let's out these guys right here. Let's not give them anything here, all right? First period. There you go. Connolly, second line power play. He gets a goal for us. Very nice. Now they have to get two to win it. That's a lot to ask for them, especially against us. Second period. Okay, okay. Again, Bernie Mac's doing great for us. Come on, boys. We need to get another one by Henrik Lundqvist. We need to pop one by King Henrik. King Henrik. Anything can happen. Third period. Oh, is this going to be like game one where we only need one goal because Bernie Mac? There's an empty netter again, just like game one. And there's another goal. Connolly and Kane, they get two late ones. But it didn't matter because Bernie Mac steps up and gets a shutout. That's right. 
after Henrik Lundqvist gets a shutout in Game 4 to preserve the series to send it to the uh, fifth game, Bernie Mac comes back on front of his home ice fans and says, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, King, I am the better goalie now. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals, boys. We're 8-1. and one. We are 8-1, and one. man. No team has even given us a challenge yet. This is great. This is great. Let's check out our AHL team. Uh, they're losing 3-2. to two. They were down in the series 3-1. to one. Come on, boys. Can you come back? Can you push a Game 7? Oh, they're pushing Game 7. They're pushing Game 7. Come on, boys. Can the AHL team make it the AHL team? Oh, they fight back. They fight back being down 3-1. to one. They move on to the Eastern Conference Finals as well. Well, I don't know if they're in the East, but whatever. Uh, excuse me. So there you go, boys. Both of our teams off to the third round. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so we got the Buffalo Sabres. We got Ryan Miller, another great goaltender in the third round. All right. All right. Let's check out the playoff tree here. Uh, all right. Yeah, we don't need to check out the player stats right now. We know who did what. It was a short series. It was only five games. So the Western Conference, the San Jose Sharks beat the Detroit Red Wings. And the Columbus Blue Jackets, are you kidding me? They beat the Vancouver Canucks. So you got the first and second seeded teams in the Western Conference. So that'd be interesting to see Tampa versus Columbus, you know. Two of the worst teams in year one. All of a sudden, now year five, they're in the Stanley Cup Finals. But you know what, San Jose, they're a good team as well. So that's a good Western Conference Final. And in the East, the Buffalo Sabres beat the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the Tampa Bay Lightning beat the New York Rangers. All right, so you got in the Elite Four, or the Final Four, you have Columbus versus San Jose, and your Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Buffalo Sabres, boys. We're 8-1. No, we couldn't have a perfect playoff run, but you know what? 8-1 and one is still, it's looking great. It is looking great. Uh, the Eastern Conference Finals, boys, that's coming up next.